To a senior administration official here tells NBC News that President Trump believes his son-in-law, Jared Kushner, is being treated unfairly. The president, according to this official, has faith in Kushner to keep working uninterrupted, despite what is an abrupt change in Kushner's status that means he can no longer see the highly classified presidential daily briefing or even attend some national security meetings. This morning, new questions about how Jared Kushner can do his job after his security clearance was downgraded. NBC News confirming the president's son-in-law and senior advisor is now cut off from highly classified information. That's according to multiple sources familiar with a White House memo alerting staffers with interim security clearances they'll no longer be able to access some of the country's most sensitive secrets. The move ordered by the president's chief of staff, John Kelly, intended to impose new standards after a chaotic year where critics say the West Wing was effectively operating as a rule-free zone that waived traditional protocol for people close to the president, including family members. Democrats welcoming the news. Jared Kushner's security clearance loss gives the word overdue new meaning. Kushner's spokesman downplaying the downgrade, writing, the new policy will not affect Mr. Kushner's ability to continue to do the very important work he's been assigned by the president, and insisting it's not uncommon for these clearance reviews to take this long in a new administration, though veterans of past administrations dispute that. Kushner's duties, at times acting like a secretary of state from building ties with Mexico, to spearheading his father-in-law's pursuit of an elusive deal between the Israelis and Palestinians. If you can't produce peace in the Middle East, nobody can. But I have a feeling that Jared is going to do a great job. But intelligence experts we say Kushner's hands are now effectively tied. Getting bumped down to having only a secret clearance, he's effectively in the same status as the people who mow the lawn or work in the White House kitchen. Ultimately, the president has the final say, but giving Kushner special access would be an unprecedented step. And this week, Kushner's wife, Ivanka Trump, told NBC News there would be no double standard for family. Is it appropriate for family members to have exceptions granted to them? We will be treated like everyone else will be treated. Uh, Chief of ja Staff John Kelly has um, made his thoughts and intentions very clear on the fact that he wants to streamline and modernize this process. And I think that's a good thing. Also this morning, nearly 1,000 days until the next presidential election, President Trump is now named his campaign manager for his 2020 re-election bid. It's a man by the name of Brad Parscale who headed up President Trump's digital operation in 2016. Parscale is a close associate of Jared Kushner's, by the way. He's also expected to focus on midterm elections and trying to help Republicans maintain control of Congress over the course of the next year. Hoda and Savannah, back to you. All right, Peter Alexander at the White House. Peter, thank you. Hello today, fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights and digital exclusives.